sometimes the most devastating stories are also the most encouraging in a darkest before the dawn kind of way. And that's certainly the case out of Iran, where angry protests have spread all over the country in opposition to the nation's theocratically inspired morality police. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already know the basics here, but for those of you who don't, let me start at the beginning. A 22-year-old Iranian woman named Masa Amini was visiting family in Tehran last Tuesday and made the mistake of taking a ride with her brother while not covering her filthy lady head with an hijab. For this offense, she was arrested by the notorious Guidance Patrols, a special branch of the police tasked with enforcing the nation's regressive religious policies. Shortly after her arrest, she was taken to a hospital where she was treated for multiple blows to the head, according to London-based broadcaster Iran International. She died from those wounds a couple of days later. Of course, the cop story is that she actually suffered a heart attack and, I don't know, already had those head wounds when they got her. But the family isn't buying it, and they've got eyewitness reports that support the alternative narrative, wherein the cops beat the shit out of her in their van after the arrest. In the aftermath of the incident, the UN called for a full and impartial investigation, and for their part, the Iranian government has promised exactly that. Whether there's any truth to that remains to be seen, but there's every reason to doubt it. And even if a full investigation finds that the cops beat her up and they go to, on to convict those cops of murder, the very fact that she was in their custody in the first place is plenty to be furious about. But don't take my word for it. Just ask the thousands of Iranian women who are taken to the streets and burning her jobs in protest. And when I say taken to the streets, don't picture a bunch of people peacefully marching along and chanting protest slogans. Some of the images the BBC has shared include women with flaming hijabs in hand standing on police cars that are equally in flame. At least seven people have been killed in the protest. Some international observers are calling it Iran's George Floyd moment. But I, I kind of hope it's more than that, because let's face it, we didn't do much to fix the problem in the wake of those protests. See, Iran is kind of a weird duck in that it's governed by the strict regressive regime, but it still has a pretty substantial population of progressive people. Certainly progressive compared to the state of the laws, anyway. And widespread protests in the recent past have given us plenty of reason to think that the theocratic aspects of their government are on the verge of collapse. That being said, they're still there, and their consequences are still deadly. And this story is important to talk about for pretty obvious reasons, but I feel like it should resonate with American women all the more right now, given the way we're backsliding towards the theocracy here. Iran was never a bastion of civil liberties, but it was a much more secular place in the pretty recent past. In living memory for a lot of those people stuck under the thumb of Islamic extremism now. And the travails of its women, its religious minorities, and its LGBTQ population should serve as a pretty potent reminder of how quickly a government can strip away your rights once you let religious people take control. And these images of women screaming from the top of burning police cars should serve as a pretty potent reminder of what it takes to get those rights back. Anyway, hopefully I'll have some good news to follow up on with this in the near future. But until then, I'll hand you back over to Noah and Eli. 